Hello and welcome to Lightworks. In this tutorial we're going to have a look at moving clips into your edit via drag and drop from the bin to the edit timeline. Let's drag and drop in the first shot. I've already marked and parked these clips to save time. Click, drag and drop. As you drag and drop the clip to the timeline notice the mouse head has text which says replace. Moving from the bin directly to the timeline the edit mode is replace and that's different if you go from the bin directly to the edit viewer the default edit mode there is insert dragging and dropping the next clip to the timeline you can see that we can drop this anywhere we like and we just simply overwrite whatever was underneath for now I'm just going to drop this right at the end of that shot the third shot right down at the end on the right hand side and the fourth shot, we'll bring that down. I just want to overwrite or replace from this point onwards. And we drop that there. If I don't want to perform a replace edit, dragging and dropping, I can use the shift key to toggle the edit mode to insert. Let's take another shot. I'd like to insert this shot from this cut point onwards. So we're going to click, move the tile and hold, shift, now you can see the arrowhead has changed to insert. When I release, that shot's going to be spliced in and the sequence length extends. Notice we can snap to the cut points as you move the drag and drop segment up and down the timeline. Not only can you snap to the cut points, but any markers or in and out points on the timeline will be considered as well for accuracy. The insert mode is non-destructive, much like working with pieces of film. One more time. Click and hold the left mouse button, press the shift modifier, and we'll splice in this shot just here. Of course you don't have to insert directly on the cut points, you're free to insert anywhere you like. From the current time indicator bar, this red line, onwards. If you want to splice in a shot just here, repeat the process. Click, hold and drag with the left mouse, press shift and snap using the current time indicator. Not only can you drag and drop single clips to the timeline, but using the control key to select multiple clips in your bin, you can drag multiple shots. For example, click the first, hold control, click shots two and three. Now we can click and hold with the left mouse, move, press shift to enter insert mode and drop these group of clips down where we'd like one two three and again working with the default replace mode we'll add these three shots again click the first press control click shots two and three drag and drop and release these shots will replace on the timeline I'd like to put some audio down at the bottom here Go to my audio bin and click and drag. And as we go over the audio tracks on the timeline, holding down the left mouse still, you can see we can target the destination tracks. So my left and right pair can go to tracks 1 and 2, 2 and 3, or 3 and 4. And we drop that in with default replace. If I undo that, drop the audio in using the shift modifier, change the mode to insert, keeping all the timeline tracks selected when I release, I can push everything along on these tracks, splice in my audio. It's a useful way to open up a gap with the length of the segment you're dropping. Just undo that. Let's add another video track and see what impact that has on the drag and drop response. Right click, add tracks, one video track, press add. So now, if we take one of these shots, use the default replace mode, with no modifier, drag and drop to the tracks, we can target audio on A1 and A2, video on V1, moving the mouse head down, keep the audio the same but target V2. If we move the mouse down further, we can target different audio tracks 
keep the picture on V1. The system will help you find the most appropriate tracks to drop the clip on. Take one more shot. And we just butt those two together and use replace. As we saw with the audio insert, using drag and drop making a gap, you do the same with the picture and audio clips. Click, drag, press shift to enter the insert mode. I'm going to splice the audio and video of the media and move the shots down at the end. We hope that's helpful. Thanks for watching.